Hello everyone, welcome back in Cool IT Help. This is new video tutorial on JavaFX. In this tutorial, we are going to create a pie chart in JavaFX with FXML. I will explain you everything in detail. Let's get started. First, I will show you the example of a pie chart and I will explain the component. So first we will see one image. So here's the image you can see. This is the example of a pie chart and I have described the important components of this pie chart. This pie chart is uh, regular shaped and we have the slices and we have some labels on top on the slices and in the bottom. So these are the components. First one is called the title on the top you can see. You can adjust this title by calling the title method as per your requirement. Then you can see all these slices which are marked through the black lines and this is called the triangular wedges or slices which are the part of this pie chart. After that you can see each slices is named with a particular name. Now the next thing uh, on the bottom you can see the color code explanation that each section of this pie chart is defined as a color and this color code is defining to which title which is explained through this legend and this legend can be horizontal or vertical form now we will go back here in this notepad first we will understand few important concept on the pie chart so guys pie chart is created by using a pie chart class and the color of the slices which are defined by the order of the corresponding data items and these data items basically a class object and the class is pie chart dot data in this session we are going to create a pie chart and now the target is to display product sales percentage in following cities so i am taking these five cities as a slices of this pie chart city a b c d e now we will see the implementation steps first here i am going to create a fxml based project then we will do further things. In the step one, we will create pie chart dot data objects as many slices we want to add in the pie chart. The second one is we need to prepare one observable list of type pie chart dot data. You can see this is the syntax in the bracket and uh, we will put all those pie chart dot data objects inside it. Then we will add this list to the pie chart. In the step fourth, we will display the chart title. In the step five, we will take a clean build and we will do a test run. So these are the implementation steps. Now let me take you inside the NetBeans IDE. Guys, you can see on the left hand side, I have created one example project. This is a simple FXML based project, which is created here in the NetBeans IDE 8.0. This is a very simple step to create this one i hope you guys are aware about this we have these three files fxml controller and the main file first let me show you the fxml what arrangement i have made so this is the fxml you can see we have a base pan which is anchor pan and we have added some look and feel components that we have added the pan on the top and we have added one label now the important thing you have to search here pie chart this object will appear here then you have to drag and drop on this anchor pan and this will be added right here please adjust the size as per your requirement now the next thing is go to the code section and at this place you have to assign a fx id i have just given one fx id like pie chart and this FX ID will be used inside the controller. Okay, guys, I hope this is clear. Now just minimized this thing. Now going back here in the controller file. Now we will see the coding inside the FXML controller, which is required. At line number 25, you can see we have this address FXML annotation and we have declared one reference variable pie chart, which will hold the initialized pie chart object which is defined inside the fxml 
now just to scroll down and we have the initialize method in this initialize method we will write our code now going back here in the notepad now we will see the implementation step in the step one in two we have to create first pie chart dot data objects as many slices we want after that we will create one observable list and then we will add the objects inside it once the observable list is ready we will put inside the pie chart so here's the code let me copy this and I will explain here in the NetBeans okay just pasted here so guys you can see we have uh, created the observable list of type pie chart dot data class and uh, this is using through fx collections dot observable list and inside this list you can see we have uh, created the pie chart dot data objects and we are passing these two information first one is the name of the slice city a and the percentage value which is 13 percent in the same way for city b is 25 percent for city c 10 percent for city d is 22 percent and city e is 30 percent so we have performed two steps together we have uh, created the pie chart dot data objects and we have inside the observable list now we are ready with our observable list with data means our slices are ready now it's time to add this data inside the pie chart simply we have to call the add method so here use the reference object pie chart dot set data and you can see we are passing this observable list as an argument in this set data method just saved it now this is the final step we are setting the title of this pie chart so calling the method pie chart dot set title and then we are providing the string you can use your string which is required for your project so I'm going to show the sales percentage in following cities so I'm giving title like this so this will be set on the top of that pie chart so all files are saved now it's time to take a clean build and run here we go for the clean and build this project so guys you can see we got build successful now it's time to run it you can click the run button as well or you can uh, do this way as well okay the stage is open now you can see the pie chart is appearing it's looking awesome in the bottom section you can see the legends are appearing and uh, these are the slices which are representing through the different colors and this is created in the clockwise direction on the top you can see the title let me uh, show you the code first then you can easily relate this image to the code you can see city a b c d e these are the slices title which we have uh, passed at the time of creation of pie chart dot data object and the section is defined as a percentage 13 percent 25 percent 10 percent and city e is the biggest one and which is 30 percent representing 30 percent but this is not displaying that percentage we have to handle this and i will show these things in uh, the next tutorial session these are the legends which are appearing on the bottom we can set these legends on left right or top as well so guys this is the way you can create a pie chart in fxml based project i hope you guys found this video tutorial relevant and useful please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe my channel and guys for now thanks for watching cool it help